Hey guys, Ricardo here. Welcome to another Blog Tech Tips. And of course, guys, let me show you an issue where your laptop screen suddenly goes black or blank and how to fix it. All right. And of course, as seen here, this was what the situation I was facing where my laptop was just like this and I was just online browsing and then all of a sudden the display went black. Now I know it was still on because like now you could see that the backlit keys were still on. If the laptop was off, these would be, of course, um, dead and there'll be no lights. And of course, if you look around here, you'll notice too that both uh, power indicators indicate that the laptop is on. So, and also I could hear in the background Windows sounds. So, for example, I could hear the ping of Windows in case something was open or closed. So, I know it was on. Now, I waited a few minutes and, of course, nothing happened. And of course, this uh, tutorial is just to help out anybody who is having this issue. Now, first of all, let me explain what could be happening. Now, sometimes the software malfunctions and the operating system. If something were to fail, it could mess with stuff like audio or even video. So I assume that due to my laptop being used constantly, um, basically something in the background crash. Now, here's what you're going to do. Um, if you're working on anything, it's most likely going to be lost, so be warned. Um, in some cases, just in case, you could try using Control key and um, S. If you're using Microsoft Word, it will say whatever um, was open. Of course, if you have nothing of importance, let's go right ahead. All right, the first thing I'll do, guys, is let's go ahead and find the power key. And I'm not going to do it right now. I'm just going to show you. You're going to press and hold down the power key for about um, 15 seconds. And, of course, once you press and hold it, what's going to happen is that you're going to hear um, a wind-up sound and of course the power should be cut so the um, power keys will go dead if you have backlit keys and of course if you check the lights which should be either at the front or somewhere along the side either side you're going to notice that these are going to go dead once they go dead what's going to happen is that the um you're going to um, know now that the laptop is off so once the laptop is off Next, you're going to just go ahead and press um, power once again, once as normal, and the laptop is going to start to boot up. You should see something on screen, but of course, you're going to notice that the laptop basically keeps loading, and it's going to take an abnormally long time to power up. But don't worry, this is normal. Just give it time. And what's going to happen is that if your laptop used to boot up in like two minutes, it might take seven minutes or even a little bit longer this time. You'll see the loading screen with the Windows logo. And of course, to go to the login, you're going to log in, you're going to go to desktop, and even then, it's still going to take some time to start out itself. Do not panic. Allow it to do its thing. And finally, when everything is done um, loading, what you're going to do next, guys, is you're just going to follow my tips here. Um, I suggest from here, you can just continue using your laptop. If you want to prevent the issue from happening again, what I suggest that you do is simply do this. So what you can do is find a cleaning tool. You can use any one that you have. For me, I um, use this one here, which is C Cleaner, and of course, C Cleaner is a cool um, app that you can um, run. As I said, if you have your own, you can actually use that. So what you do is um, just give it some time to load. And what you're gonna do after it loads, guys, is just simply use the tool to clean up your um, PC. You can download it online. It's free. You can Google it, C Cleaner, and download it. All right, once it loads, guys, um, what you can do here is you can do an um, easy clean, where you analyze and clean, or you can basically do a custom clean. Um, let's say, for example, um, you don't want to lose what websites you're logged into. Just uncheck cookies for your main browsers. And, of course, go ahead and analyze. When you analyze, go ahead and run cleaner. And, of course, there's a registry as well. You can clean Windows registry. So, just go ahead and scan. Once it's finished scanning, just go ahead and fix issues. And that should be about it. Once you do all of those things, it should prevent your um, device um, from crashing um, again when the display goes blank. All right, guys, you got it from Gardner from Block Tech Tips showing you how to fix the issue where your display and your laptop suddenly goes black or blank. You're getting no output to your screen. All right, we're going to say bye in the next time. Bye.